Welcome to This Week in Dinosaurs for the week of June 5th, 2016. New research reports that, contrary to popular belief, mammals began their massive diversification 10 to 20 million years before the extinction of the dinosaurs. The study questioned the familiar story that dinosaurs dominated their prehistoric environment while tiny mammals took a back seat until the dinosaurs, excluding birds, went extinct 66 million years ago, allowing mammals to shine. Ellis Newham, co-author of the study, said, The traditional view is that mammals were suppressed during the age of the dinosaurs and underwent a rapid diversification immediately following the extinction of the dinosaurs. However, our findings were that Therian mammals, the ancestors of most modern mammals, were already diversifying considerably before the extinction event, and the event also had a considerably negative impact on mammal diversity. Not only did mammals begin diversifying earlier than previously expected, but the mass extinction wasn't the perfect opportunity for mammal evolution that it's traditionally been painted as. Early mammals were hit by a selective extinction at the same time the dinosaurs died out. Generalists that could live off a wide variety of foods seemed more apt to survive, but many mammals with specialized diets went extinct. The scientists involved in the study were surprised to see that mammals were initially negatively impacted by the mass extinction event. I fully expected to see more diverse mammals immediately after the extinction, said lead author David Grossnickel. I wasn't expecting to see any sort of drop. It didn't match the traditional view that after the extinction, mammals hit the ground running. The reason behind the mammals' pre-extinction diversification remains a mystery. Grossnickel suggests a possible link between the rise of mammals and the rise of flowering plants, which diversified around the same time. We can't know for sure, but flowering plants might have offered new seeds and fruits for the mammals. And if the plants co-evolved with new insects to pollinate them, the insects could have also been a food source for early mammals. Three new dinosaur emoji have been proposed for the next version, due out next year. Courtney Milan, who wrote the proposal, states, The current selection of emoji animals is missing a vital portion of natural species. While there are alligators, koalas, mice, snakes, whales, and dragons, utterly missing from the emoji pantheon are the extinct creatures. Specifically, none of the prehistoric dinosaurs that have captured the human imagination and become a part of our global culture are present. The proposal goes on to explain why dinosaur-based emoji would be a welcome addition to users, using a graph to show an increase in searches for dinosaurs, comparable to other emoji animals that are currently in the top half of emoji used. The three proposed emojis include the carnivore, which could be used as a symbol depicting a vociferous no, or to express fear, and could be used as a sign of hunger or strength. The brontosaurus may be used to indicate that someone is sweet or that someone is particularly clueless since the animal was not known for its brains. And finally, the triceratops could represent defensive strength. The triceratops emoji may be used to indicate that someone is ready to finish a fight or take on a challenge like an exam or disaster. These new emoji may never be approved, but maybe one day we'll be able to use a T-Rex next to a chicken leg to indicate to a friend that we're really, really hungry. Be sure to enter our free giveaway going on now for your chance to win the Hybrid Effects Tyrannosaurus Rex and Owen Alpha with Velociraptor Blue playset, and more. See the contest video on the channel to enter and for more information. And check out DinosaurStop.com, where you can stay up to date on dinosaur news, check out fun dinosaur places to visit, watch videos, and more. That's all for this week. And until next time... Rawr!